So we've had our Vidoc, we see the content, and now we get to talk about Black Armory and the future of Destiny 2. Let's look at this annual pass as a road marker and an indication of what the other annual pass drops are most likely going to be like. There was an 8 minute Vidoc released today outlining Black Armory and giving you more details about what the annual pass content looks like. And it's really good anytime Bungie does these Vidocs, they're really rad. I'm going to utilize images where appropriate, I'm not going to pull footage from those Vidocs because I would not like this video to get claimed by Act. Division. As such, you need to go check out the Vidoc. If you haven't seen it, watch it before you watch this and then come on back. It looks like with Black Armory, we're getting the Lost Forges, a new three player endgame horde like activity. And guess what, guys? It has matchmaking. So think of Escalation Protocol. Think of Court of Oryx or the Blind Well. They have finally figured out that these activities work better when you can matchmake them. And thank you so much, Bungie. Please extend this tech to the other you know, public space activities like these. It'd be sweet if Escalation Protocol and Blind Well could be tossed into the mix with this new tech. Uh, there's gonna be four forges in total, and each of these forges is gonna be found in some new zones and some in familiar locations. Now, when it comes to the forges, the kind of backbone of this expansion is you're gonna be collecting materials to build these new awesome weapons. And once you've collected the materials, you're going to go to the forge. You and your buddies are going to try and last as long as possible as you fend off waves of enemies and do this horde-like activity while the weapon is forging. Think of it like you're defending your Warframe foundry while it's building your Chroma Prime or something like that, okay? Each one of the annual pass updates uh, is going to coincide along with a 50 power level raise. So by the time it's all said and done, Black Armory 650 power is going to be the new cap. You don't have to purchase the annual pass in order to play in, you know, and participate in these new power level cap increases, which is pretty cool. I don't know where the end game rewards are going to be tied or how the economy is all going to change. We'll just have to see where the pieces land. But here's a huge surprise, a new full raid, Scourge of the Past. Alongside new quest triumphs, collections, the Black Armory will get its own full raid, Scourge of the Past. Now, this is kind of interesting because we thought it was going to be a raid layer. What is even cooler here is this raid takes place on the last city. I don't know about you guys. Raiding is the coolest PvE activity in Destiny, and I am always a sucker for a good raid. They threw in the Vidoc mention and a callback to Wrath of the Machine, one of my favorite raids ever, and it looks like you're going to be using your Sparrows quite a bit in the raid. I'm pretty pumped. Alongside this comes, I think they talked about four new exotics. There's like one returning exotic that people, I think, last word is what everybody's, you know, thinking from the flavor text and the icons that were shown. Additionally, you've got new legendary gear, there's new ships, there's a bunch of new Eververse stuff. But overall, like if you're just looking at the backbone stuff they revealed today, Scourge of the Past, new full raid, four Lost Forges, and new pinnacle gear to go after. And that is Black Armory, essentially. I don't want to discount the fact that in the Vidoc they mentioned, surprises are a backbone of what they do, so not everything is going to be outlined here. Now let's talk about the pros and cons, my opinions looking at this model so far. Side A, lack of cinematics, lack of story, and lack of high cost for, you know, voice acting, I think are all great moves when you shift those resources into replayable activities, more gear, and putting effort into endgame stuff, which so far, this looks pretty spot on for that. However, I have to ask the question, will there be any new strikes? Is there going to be a new dungeon? What's going on with Trials of the Nine? We didn't hear anything about that. And I have to ask the question and pose it here. The lack of a story campaign has that translated into vastly more content here for Year Two of Destiny 2. I don't know. I'll leave that answer once we've had the chance to play through this content, and I'll leave that up to you guys. You get to decide that. And frankly, if each one of these annual pass drops represents this amount of content, then cool, that could be a lot better than the two little expansions that we're used to from the normal Destiny content cycle. What I will say is this looks to reward players who are enjoying the game. It might be an incentive or a catalyst to get a player off the fence to come back to Destiny, but I think it's definitely more built for the people who are already engaged and liking the game. Simply put, if you like the game, you're probably going to buy this and you're probably going to enjoy this and you're going to look forward to the next one. If you're somebody who's not been enjoying Destiny 2, this will not likely bring you back. One thing of note that's important, Destiny players who are not on the cutting edge, like who are not always purchasing the most recent content update, generally save a lot of money over those who do want to be playing it when it's totally fresh, it's coming right out. What I mean by that is price drops occur quite regularly 
And if you wait six to 12 months, you can experience this content for a whole lot less, but that does come at a cost of not being at current end game and not having the same, you know, level of excitement of world's first and everybody being pumped to gear the characters up as fast as possible. So overall, me personally, as a Destiny fan, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also not really blown away. And I, to be honest, in the back of my mind, maybe was expecting to hear a little bit more in regards to specifics of three new strikes and alongside this new horde-like activity. I could be wrong. Maybe the forges are going to offer a ton of replayability, but I have a strong sense that they are going to likely be Court of Oryx version two or, you know, Escalation Protocol mini, something like that. What's important is what you think. Let me know about it in the comment section down below. Are you excited? Is this new model the way of the future? And what did I miss? Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk with you next time.